Artificial intelligence is developing rapidly, but never before was it able to do this. But let's move back to the beginning. Playing with AI has been available for a while. You can ask it to write a book, create an image or compose music for you. But in terms of 3D modeling, we still haven't experienced any major breakthrough. This, however, is likely to change soon. I dedicated the last few weeks to the new goal. I wanted to 3D print something designed completely by an AI. In order to do that, I first had to find a way to generate decent 3D models from nothing but text. This was not an easy task, but in the end, I came up with a solution that actually worked the way I wanted. Finally, the time has come to share both my struggles and the final outcome. I will also teach you how to generate and 3D print models like this one, so keep watching. Finding an optimal technique was quite an issue. I came across the video from Andrew Singh where he uses the ChatGPT to write an STL code for a 3D model. This looked very promising and the author demonstrated this technique on a cube as a proof of concept. I opened ChatGPT and also asked it for a cube. And it worked. Or so I thought. I was very excited, so I tried to ask for something else. A simple flower pot, for example. But after running the code, well, you can probably guess what's coming next. I was unable to get any other result than a cube or a cuboid, no matter what I asked for. Unfortunately, this method was not what I was looking for. Nice try, though. The other project I found, called Point E, looked quite impressive. It is able to generate a cloud of points, creating a more detailed shapes. Again, my enthusiasm skyrocketed, but only for a second after I tried to receive anything else than an apple or a donut. I really tried to go easy on it, asking for basic models like a pier or a traffic cone. But the outcome was terrible. I gave it one more chance, this time choosing the recommended search. I thought to myself, okay, since it's recommended, at least that should work, right? I tried with few other available AIs and, honestly, I almost gave up. But then I came across the Mirage. Mirage is the closest text to 3D model AI that I've seen so far. It creates 3D assets based on the text input and it is the only tool I've found that actually comes up with a decent mesh. You don't need to download anything and starting new account is free. Check the description below for a link. After you open the app, go to Apps section on the left. Now choose Text to 3D Asset. To get a model, you can simply write down what you need and optionally add a picture. It takes about 3 minutes to generate, which is a bit longer than previous methods, but damn, the outcome is best I've seen so far. I mean, compare this flower pot with the previous ones. No comments. On top of that, Mirage allows you to easily download the 3D files, which is not possible with few other AIs out there. Just click on your asset, expand the download section and choose GLB. I will show you what to do with it further in this video. I've been experimenting with few models and the quality is actually impressive. I noticed that adding a photo for a reference can drastically improve the results. Here is a model generated with text only and here is the one that included a reference photo on top of the text command. Also, I definitely recommend using clean photos with no background as they come out way better. Like you see here, when I loaded a picture of a cat with a strong background, the AI could not properly understand what I was looking for. Not every request I made was instantly successful, some models were just too complicated. But to be fair, that's fully understandable, even the big and well-known AIs like Midjourney can be a bit unpredictable sometimes, as this technology is still being developed. On top of that, Mirage also allows you to create sick concept art in a matter of seconds. 
In this video I'm only focusing on the text to 3D feature, however I seriously recommend you to have some fun with other sections of this app. You may find it just as entertaining. Now, when you know where to look for the decent text to 3D AI, let me show you how to clean the models a little bit and 3D print them. I will be using Blender to do this, as it's free and easy to follow. Open new Blender file and delete everything in your scene. Now go to File, Import, GLB. Find the model you just downloaded and import it. As you can see, the mesh is a little torn apart, but we can fix it. First, select the main body and click Tab. Now select any point on the surface and click Ctrl L. This will highlight all the connected vertices. Ctrl I to invert the selection and delete vertices. That's how we get rid of all the separated parts. Tab again to exit edit mode and now click on this little wrench. From the modifiers list, select Remesh and play a little with the voxel size. The smaller the value, the more detailed your object will be, but show some mercy to your computer. Don't push that slider too hard. If your object has some huge gaps, like my flower pot here, try to fill the holes with some basic shapes before you add Remesh modifier. Shift A to add new object, G to move it around a bit. You don't have to be very precise with it, just cover the holes with a new shape. Select the new object, then your model while holding Shift and hit Ctrl J. Now when you remesh it, the new filling will be nicely integrated into your asset. You can also smoothen the model a little bit using Subdivision Surface Modifier. Choose the amount that fits your asset nicely. Remember to apply all the modifiers and you're good to go. Select the model, go to File, Export, STL. And check the selection only box. Save it wherever you want and open it in your slicer. And that's it. This is how you can 3D print any model designed for you by an AI. The models generated by Mirage are quite basic, but they can be very helpful addition to your 3D modeling routine. You can get a simple shape in a couple of minutes and then adjust it yourself the way you like. Also, if you are fine with their minimalistic shapes and you don't need complicated details, you can print them right away. For me, just the concept of those models being made by artificial intelligence makes them cool enough to have them printed. Compared with how easy and user-friendly this whole process actually is, I can definitely consider Mirage as the best text to 3D tool I've seen so far. Like I said before, this technology is still being developed and we can all expect better and better results as days go by. But even though the generated assets are quite basic, this is actually a very decent starting point. I'm super excited to watch the artificial intelligence progress in 3D modeling and I promise to keep you updated on any relevant news. Let me know in the comments about your opinion on this topic and if you have any other experience with the text to 3D AI, you're more than welcome to share it. I also invite you to check my other videos about 3D modeling, 3D printing, design and architecture. If there are some particular topics you find interesting, please mention them in the comments, I would be happy to know what content would you like to see. Thanks for watching and see you next time.